the critical thing was because of current market issues, we realized we have to do it in a different way. It was the market that did this. It was the market verdict on her mini budget, Quasi Quateng's uh, mini budget, that has precipitated this enormous set of U-turns because that market reaction has then led to higher interest rates uh, for many households around the country, uh, not to mention the Bank of England having to intervene. Well, as a result of that, it is worth just taking a look and working out what the market, how, how the market has reacted, given that if she wasn't going to get a good reaction, well, there's big question marks over her future. For a lot of people, as Beth was saying just then, uh, for a lot of people, particularly those in the party, but elsewhere as well, her future was hanging at stake here, and really it depended on how the market viewed it. Well, let's have a look at the bond markets. This, in a way, is the epicenter uh, of the story recently. And what I want to just show you quickly is the 30-year bond yield. Now, this is a complicated chart, but all it's showing you is the higher the hit this is, the higher the interest rate on this long-term government debt is. And broadly speaking, the government wanted to see it go down. So the lower that goes, the happier they are, because that means lower interest rates for everyone else. As I say, complicated, all sorts of stuff going on. But that's the main thing to remember. And look, it was going down. It was going down from about Wednesday afternoon into Thursday when those stories came just yesterday about there being a U-turn likely. Then you had the moment overnight last night where Kwasi Kwarteng returned from Washington, D.C. Look at that line going down, down, down. But here's the thing. It started to rise recently. And look, after the speech and the press conference from Liz Trust, not many questions, of course, look at what happens to that line. It's creeping up again. That, I can tell you, behind you and Downing Street is something they are going to be very, very nervous about because that is one of the lines. And there are a few different bond yields. You've got, you know, 30 years here. That That's in, you know, something people are sort of focusing on at the moment because that's the one that the Bank of England's concerned about with what, what was going, uh, with what's going on with pension funds right now. But when those lines are going up, that means there is more pressure in these markets and interest rates on mortgages might well start to go up uh, as well. So the fact that is reacting and going in the wrong direction, as far as Liz Truss is concerned, is going to be a concern. But as you can see, it's early days. You know, that line is only kind of a few minutes away from that speech. But so far, I'm afraid so bad for Liz Truss. She hasn't got the market reaction that she might have hoped for. We'll have to see what happens in the next few minutes. This has been a period where you just have to look minute by minute at how those markets are doing, how they're reacting to what the Chancellor and indeed uh, the Prime Minister are saying. And their verdict will have enormous consequences because, well, as we just learned from the Prime Minister, that was basically what changed everything. What means that we're now potentially facing a massively different economic climate with a government that is raising corporation tax, is cutting spending. You know, that was one of the things that, that kind of buried away there in there. That we are going to see potentially more austerity. We're not hearing the Prime Minister saying there are going to be no spending cuts. She said there will be spending cuts or signalled it, certainly in real terms, there will be. These are enormous changes, enormous shifts. But as I say, right now, markets not looking enormously convinced, but it's early days. So let's just see how they go.